Hello everyone, and welcome back to my channel, Stars and Stuff. I'm Sawyer. We had an unexpected break last week, but we are back. Today we're going to be continuing our series, Cool Constellations. We will be covering the third constellation that contributes to the Summer Triangle, Cygnus. See my previous videos on Aquila and Lyra for the other two constellations in the Summer Triangle to learn about the asterism in its entirety. Let's hop to it. First, let's talk about when Cygnus is visible. Cygnus can be seen June through December and is best seen July at 10 p.m. But where in the sky do we find it? First, find the Summer Triangle. If you don't know where to find it, see my video on Aquila for step-by-step -step instructions. Once we've found that, we need to find Neb, which is the third star in the triangle and also part of Cygnus. Deneb makes up one of the points of the Summer Triangle, as seen here on our reference image. <laughs> Cygnus is associated with two myths. The first one is about Cygnus and his friend Phaeton. Phaeton is also associated with two myths, one where he nearly burned down the entire Earth. But that one doesn't have anything to do with Cygnus, so we won't talk about that. Cygnus and Phaeton were racing on Pegasi chariots until they got a little too close to the sun and their chariots were burned and they fell to the ground. Cygnus woke up and looked for his friend Phaeton, but he couldn't seem to find him until he walked over to a river and saw that it was red. <sighs> he ran over and saw Phaeton at the bottom of the river. As a human, he was unable to retrieve his friend's body, so he made a pact with Zeus. Zeus would allow him to turn into a swan, but he would only live as long as a normal swan does. Zeus agreed, and Cygnus could get his friend's body easily and gave him a proper burial. Zeus was touched and put him in the sky. The second myth comes from China. It's about two lovers, Zi Nu and Ni Wang, who had a forbidden friendship, or like a forbidden love ship, because Zi Nu was a fairy while Ni Wang was a mortal. It was so forbidden that a goddess made a river to separate the two aka the Milky Way. But once a year, the fairies gather together to make a bridge, aka Cygnus, and the lovers reunite. Ah! Cygnus is made up of 11 stars, Deneb, Seder, Algena, Fawaris, Alborio, ZTA, Cygni, Tau, Cygni, Kappa Cygni, ETA Cygni, Pi Cygni, Nom Nom Pi Cygni. It's my favorite flavor of pie. And 61 Cygni. Deneb means tail in Arabic, so maybe it's no surprise that it's part of Cygnus's tail. Deneb is also one of the brightest stars we can see. With 20 solar masses, it's nearly 60,000 times more luminous than our sun, and is also one of the largest blue-white supergiants we know. Fueris is a triple binary system. Binary system means that stars orbit each other, and has two stars that are fairly close together, and one star a bit further away. Eventually, they will all collide and lead to a supernova 
they will become the brightest star in the night sky for about 400 years till it runs out of fuel. <laughs> so that's Cygnus. And that completes our tour of the three constellations in the Summer Triangle. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. And if the night is clear, go out and see if you can find Cygnus in the night sky. I'll be out of town next week, so there will be no new video on Sunday, August the 15th. But we will be back on to it Sunday, August 22nd. Thank you so much for joining me today, and I'll see you next time. Oh, and why did the chicken cross the Milky Way? Because it was the swan's day off! <laughs> <laughs>